Welcome back to Ben's Garage. So a little bit different today. We're, I'm having a bit of a nightmare with machinery not starting up. Uh, this is my cousin Strimmer. We've got our uh, lawnmower, which is a Hater Harrier, uh, out of hibernation. It's been laid up over winter. Um, spring's now here, so we need to be cutting some grass. Servicing that up, that's got no spark either. So um, I thought, well, we'll just go over a few little things and um, I'll show you how to test the coil. So I've got a coil here. That's a brand new one. I know that one works. That was off the Husqvarna chainsaw, which was running backwards. Incorrect coil, but I know it works. This one here is the Briggs & Stratton coil off of the Hater Harrier. That's a Briggs & Stratton Intec um, something engine. Um, so we're going to check that one. Now this trimmer, I've got two coils. I've got one that's on the, the body of the thing, and this one, that's the new one. So we'll test both of those. So all you're going to need is a multimeter that's got ohms on it. So uh, I'll bring you over here and uh, we'll have a quick look. So you're going to want a multimeter. I've got two here. This one just does ohms, checks for resistance. This one you can set it. So we've got ohms just here. You can turn it all around. I'm going to switch it on to 20k. Now what I'm going to do, I've got the uh, positive and the negative plugged in. I'm going to take this new coil, which I know works. I'm going to stick the positive at the plug lead end, and then I'm going to touch this onto the, the where the coil bolts onto the the mower or the strimmer or whatever. Touch the negative onto there. So you might need to just scratch it a little bit. So that's 2.96. I'm not sure what the spec should be for this particular coil, but that's going to be putting out a spark. So we know that's good. So, but I, I have run the chainsaw with that, so I know that that's working. Now this is the one for the Briggs and Stratton. We'll do the same. We'll put the positive up the end there. So that's touching on the plug lead end. And then you can just touch that. Right you might just need to scratch it, it's a bit rusty. 4.5. So that's a good that's gonna put out a good spark as well. I'm just gonna to touch it on here. 4.5 as well. So there's nothing wrong with that coil. Um I have ordered a new one, but I'll be putting this one back on. <laughs> and keep the other one as a spare, I think. Uh, so we'll have to investigate that further. It could either be the wiring or the spark plug. But, um, so that's that. And now, on the strimmer, this is the new coil. The only reason it's still attached, the old one's still attached, because um, I wasn't getting a spark with the new coil, I swapped them back, but the wiring runs through here and I wasn't taking that apart. So we'll, t we'll check the old coil. So we'll put that up the end there. And then we'll touch this on the, the body of the, of the strimmer. That's 1.4. So that's a bit low. Um, we'll now test the, the new one that's on it. Push that up there, and then just touch this on the, the body part, and that's 4.36. So this new one is likely to be good. Um, that I don't think it's the wiring on this one because I've I've even tried it disconnecting the um, the power interrupter this, off the switch, which runs to that tab there. That probably just needs clean up, or it might even need a new spark plug. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you test a coil on a Briggs & Stratton lawnmower or any lawnmower. Um, that's a Briggs & Stratton coil. <laughs> it's still good. You know, you can, it's the same with Husqvarna, chainsaws, strimmers, you test them all the same way. Um, so I've got a bit of head scratching and a bit more work to do on some of these tools now. But at least I've eliminated the coil. So. I'll be replacing spark plugs, checking the wiring and checking the gap between the coil and the flywheel 
because the coil picks up off the flywheel, there's a couple of magnets on the flywheel. You need to get the gap of that just right. Um, that'll be in another video. Uh, when I actually do the lawnmower, I'll, I'll do a video on that and show you about all this stuff. But yeah, that's how you test for a coil, see if it's good or bad. I don't know what the specs are for each and every coil, so you, whether you can find that on the internet. Um, as far as I can see, the Briggs and Stratton coils should be sparking, and the new coil for the strimmer should be sparking. And that's about it. So, hope this video is of some use to uh, people out there who are scratching their heads that have got no spark on their machines. And um, yeah, drop us a comment below. Let us know how you get on. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.